What's up guys, Clayton Fioriti here. Today, I wanted to talk about a monster that almost made it into the Godzilla series. This new species of dinosaur was going to be dubbed the Anguirus sound. Back in the 1990s, Toho was knee-deep in making sequels for their popular Heisei series of Godzilla films. After having kind of poor box office returns with the brand new monster that they created in Biollante, the company decided to go back to their roots and dig up every one of Godzilla's classic enemies. This would bring back monsters for Godzilla to fight like King Ghidorah, Mothra, and Rodan. However, curiously absent among these kaiju happened to be the very first adversary that Godzilla had ever faced, Anguirus. Well, believe it or not, the monster was actually super close to being in a Heisei movie before plans fell through anyway and the company went back to the drawing board. This appearance of the spiky dinosaur creature would actually come with a brand new redesign that paid a bit of a tribute to how the monster was originally intended to look all the way back in the 1950s. During development on two cancelled Godzilla movies, a new species of Anguirus was going to be introduced that was being called the Anguirus Hound. Now, what makes this guy so interesting is the fact that the monster's trademark armored plating on his back would actually have a noticeable split down the middle that separated the carapace into two individual pieces. Its body body would also be much more streamlined than what we'd seen in the Showa era, and the elongated tail, neck, and devilish looking claws made for a considerably more ferocious appearance compared to pretty much every other time that we've seen the monster. Now, this large split down the Anguirus Hound's back was actually taken from some of the work that had been done during the production of the 1955 sequel, Godzilla Raids Again. You see, during production of that movie, Anguirus was going to have his back split into two pieces that could turn upward. This would have given the dinosaur something of a winged beetle-like appearance compared to what we eventually got. The reason this was changed back in the 50s was due to the fact that every time the actor would move on screen, Anguirus's carapace would uncontrollably peel apart. So what they ended up doing was simply join the two back plates together in order to create one singular piece of armor. Not too different to the way that real ankylosaurs looked back in the day, which is actually what Anguirus was based off of. Unfortunately for the Anguirus Hound, the filmmakers over at Toho would ultimately choose not to include the famed monster in their newest Godzilla series. This decision was mainly decided after special effects director Koichi Kawakita described the four-legged posture of the dinosaur to be lacking a sense of speed when compared to the upright position that Godzilla was able to pull off. That being said, before the monster got the axe, he was a big role of both the unproduced films Godzilla vs. Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Barabori. That former story would have actually involved the ghost of the original Godzilla possessing Anguirus and creating a brand new hybrid animal dubbed Godzirus. The latter script would have toyed with the idea of the Anguirus Hound being defeated by a new creature called Barabari, which would have actually assimilated the Anguirus form and transformed itself into something of a disgusting insect-like abomination. It's important to note that originally, in the Godzilla vs. Godzilla script, or Godzilla vs. Ghost Godzilla as some people know it, the spirit of the 1954 original monster was supposed to possess the body of Little Godzilla, which would turn him into the monster from the very first movie. However, on December 22nd, 1994, new concept art would put Anguirus in the film as well, which would have led to the possession of that monster to create Godzirus, like I mentioned earlier. This concept for the Anguirus sound would later be reconsidered for Godzilla. Godzilla vs. Barabori, where the new threat would allegedly attempt to imitate the form of Anguirus in what has been compared to a similar way that John Carpenter's The Thing did in that film. Ultimately, the design was scrapped for the Godzilla sequel in question, and the project would actually metamorphosize into the movie that we all know today as Godzilla vs. Destroya. So out of curiosity, what do you guys think about this subspecies of Anguirus, and would you have liked to have seen this earlier design that was going to be reused for the Heisei series? Personally, I think it looks pretty cool, and I'm kind of bummed that this never came to be. But hey, that's just my opinion, and whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them. In the comments down below.